Injuries. Injuries. They're not fun, but they happen. Especially the more things you do and the more risks you take. Let's focus on acute injuries. An acute injury is not cute. It's not small or tiny or adorable. Oh, wow. An acute injury is an injury that happens suddenly. Basically, you know when it happens. There will be some form of bump, twist, crack, snap, or pop, and there will probably be pain. Everyone has had some form of an acute injury, whether very minor or more severe. Let's go over some of the common acute injuries that are results from accidents in physical activity. Two of the most common acute injuries are sprains and strains. People tend to use the terms interchangeably and they do have some overlap, but they are different based on the type of tissue they affect. A sprain results from overstretching or tearing of a ligament. Ligament is tissue that connects bone to bone. A strain results from overstretching or tearing a muscle or tendon. Tendon is tissue that connects muscle to bone. So sprain, ligament, bone to bone, strain, tendon or muscle, muscle to bone. Most areas in our body that move like joints have some combination of ligament and tendon in that area. You might sprain or roll your ankle playing soccer or skating. You can strain or pull your hamstring muscle if you go to do max sprints and you're not warmed up. So bending, twisting, falling, impact, all can lead to sprains and strains. There are different grades to rate the severity of sprains and strains that range from low level, just small tears, to high level, complete separations. This is my painful face. How about fractures? A fracture is what's commonly known as a broken bone. So it's when a bone cracks or completely breaks. So this can happen in all sorts of ways depending on the force and the type of movement that causes the fracture. It can be just a little hairline, which is tiny. It can be a complete snap. It can be due to twisting. It can compound or come out of your skin. There's a lot of ways your bones can get messed up. One strategy for preventing fractures is combining healthy nutrition with some muscle and bone strengthening activities like resistance training and doing some things with a little bit of impact. These activities actually help to increase your bones density and help to make them or keep them strong. Another acute injury that is super important to know about is concussions. A concussion is a brain injury that affects brain function. It can be caused by a blow to the head or even violent shaking of the head and body. You probably know that your brain is pretty important, so it's super useful to know the signs and how to treat a concussion. Some symptoms can include nausea, vomiting, dizziness, confusion, headache, fatigue, or loss of consciousness. Rest and restricting activity is the safest and smartest way to treat a concussion. This obviously means really limit physical activity, but also mental activity as well. Really take it easy and just rest. And what about general treatment of minor acute injuries? PRICE is an acronym you can use for addressing minor injuries at home for the first few days. P stands for protect. Wherever your injury occurred, keep that place on your body protected so that you don't injure it worse. R is rest. When you have an acute injury, your body is going to react. It's going to swell and inflame depending what it is and how severe. So rest and let it do its thing. I is ice. Of course, there's even varied research on this now, but generally using ice is going to reduce that inflammation or swelling, can help a little bit with pain and make that swelling go down. C is compress. So you can wrap up your injury with a bandage. That will help keep it protected and a little bit more stable. 
and E is elevate. Using ice, compressing, and elevating your injury. So if you have a hurt ankle, lay down, prop it up on some pillows. That's also going to help with healing and inflammation. Again, this is for minor injuries. If something is really off or painful, please do yourself a favor and see a medical professional. So that's the very basics of acute injuries. Sprains, strains, fractures, and concussions. These are the things we need to be able to identify, treat, and recover from. And most importantly, we want to be able to avoid them completely. That video will come later. Stay safe. Peace.